as you can see, we've arrived down here at Lake Conjola. Uh, never been here before. It was weird the caravan park just, you're just driving off the road straight into the caravan park. We've all, we're all set up here now. I'll show you outside after. So I'm guessing it won't be quite so quiet the whole weekend. I think we're going to have neighbours either side and possibly a bit behind us as well. Which isn't our favourite, but it's okay. We had trouble getting in anywhere. This seems nice. At least it's nice and open at the front. I can show you at the front. So we've got coders all set up again. And like you see, we're there for the road. So nice little area. We've already seen some kangaroos when we arrived. I don't know where they've gone now. And there were some parrots around the second ago as well, but I think they've flown off. So when Kevin's rested a little bit, we're going to go for a little walk around and have a look. Because we don't really know our way around this park. I've realised I've forgotten to bring sunscreen. <laughs> so we're going to need to get some sunscreen in the morning. Maybe it's a little shop, I think. What time are they closing? What time are they closing though? Six? Yeah, so we've got to buy some sunscreen. <laughs> Kangaroos. Oh yes, I see. Coat them. Pull on my arm. It's more about Kevin having gone inside than about the real live puppy. Kevin says it's a dog and I thought it was a picture of a dog. It's a real puppy. Nice and clean. Um, Coda, we have a problem. Are you going to come back around this way? Coda, you've gone the wrong side. Good boy. Some of our dogs have never been able to work that one out. So you can walk down into there. This is a, a no boat area for swimming. Oh, the little dog's got ducklings. impressed with this place. There's a little motorhome over there. And we've got some toilet blocks right here. It looks a lot nicer on the phone. It looks nicer on the phone. 
So having our first gin in the motorhome, which is the Hawaiian sweet potato. I've got vegan cheese, which is why it doesn't look very melted. Kevin had melted cheese. <laughs> Probably cheese, and he's got a little friend. It's nice. This is a nice dinner. And he's got a little friend. <laughs> so Coda did eat most of his dinner. He just thinks Daddy's dinner smells better. He's taking credit for a little walk. Coda's right at home, just sitting on the couch. Even though we all settled on the bed waiting for the Tim Minchin concert. up to six so it's been a bit of a slow morning but he's already been out for a toilet walk but, um, yeah gonna have a bit of an explore now and see where we might wait to go for a swim later on it's gonna be a beautiful day that's for sure down here So dogs aren't allowed down in this area because nesting seabirds. <laughs> oh, okay. Right, it's on then. Well, I think we could let Cody in here. I don't, don't know. Probably that way. Sad seeing all the burnt trees over there. Not the toilet block. It's <laughs> so cute. Oh, one of the nicest looking toilet blocks I think I've ever seen. going to tackle this <laughs> boardwalk. I think it takes you over to the beach and it's going to get really hot today and since we don't have much I've got a little tiny bit of emergency sunscreen that I keep in my handbag and that's all we have so obviously I'm going to be out in the middle of the day. I might try and brave this little walk up this little hill. <laughs> I do have some water with me because I ended up bringing my handbag because I had too much stuff I wanted to bring. I think doggies are allowed up here as long as they're on leash. area up here. This is why you need to get out and explore areas. The 
something I love to do when I'm away. Or even at home, I've done it at home too. Beautiful. Come down, come on here. Oh boy. Look at that. How nice is that? Wow. So that was actually a nice and easy walk up because it's a very low gradient. I'm not even too puffed. <laughs> well worth it. Really nice. And now we can hear the waves at the beach. Which is a long way off though. <laughs> Anyway, we'll do this today while it's not too hot. And they've got lots of lovely little sitting areas there you can sit and watch. How beautiful. Wow. It's warm though. <laughs> it's warm. So I've made breakfast for Kevin, we're both going to have this, but I haven't, out of what, two avocados I've got about a half an avocado, so Kevin's going to have that because he will appreciate the avocado more than I do, even though I do enjoy that, and I'm just going to have um, some jam on mine.
at the moment, but no one around us. It's about to move inside because it's pretty warm out here, but Hose just laid down on the mat. There's a little blanket that I put there for him. So I guess we'll stay out here a bit longer. He was lying on his bed inside before, and I thought, well, he might just like to have a little blanket out here since out of the bed. It's pretty warm. It's um, 27 degrees. Even in the shade, it's warm. When the breeze comes, it's nice. It's a nice sort of breeze. So I'm just reading my Kindle. I drank a tea and I'm on my water. Because Kevin's having a nap. He had a bad night's sleep last night. Kevin, he's going to the bathroom. to the bathroom and someone's already climbed into the front seat so they can keep a watch. He's so funny. Thought I'd better check in with you guys. It's been a really, really lovely day. As you threw out about a number of times and coded for a walk and whatnot. Kevin just flew the drone so you will have seen that shot. It's just beautiful. I said to Kevin it could be the Whitsunday Islands in Queensland. Like it's just so pretty here. The water is just a beautiful colour. It was a beautiful day, blue skies, really clear. So this afternoon, I've just made some wraps for lunch and we've just been inside because it's so hot outside and we've nearly lost all our sun in the, in the shade as well. So I'm certainly spending the rest of the afternoon here inside. I think it's due to cool down a lot about five o'clock. So I might move outside for a bit then, but it's just not very comfortable. <laughs> I've spent most of the morning out there, so it's not too bad. And certainly I've had lots of fresh air and sunshine today. <laughs> <laughs> numerous walks that we've had so just having some watermelon now and I'm sort of reading editing videos just doing bits and pieces um, I want to just read but I'm not really I don't know how a bit of trouble getting right into this book so I'm being distracted editing videos and whatnot that's okay 
Kevin says, I don't know what he's doing. Probably read it <laughs> if he's not finished with it yet. Coda is so tired. He just wants to sleep now. So he, I think, don't think he sleeps that much when we sit outside. But he's just sitting on the couch and he's just so tuckered out. <laughs> I think he needs a good, good afternoon sleep. <laughs> but yeah, this place is beautiful. Um, even though we're back from the water, it's still nice now. I don't know when we get crowded in. We might feel a bit differently then. We'll see. But I said to Kim, we'll definitely have to book and we'll have to come and have one of the waterfront sites or water view sites. They're not quite in the front. There's grass and a strip between that and the water. But we we'll definitely have to do that sometime. I think it's really pretty. But the problem is we have to book those sites a fair bit in advance to get them, obviously. Unless you come in the winter, then you might be lucky. And obviously then you take a gamble with the weather, but we've realized that, yeah, I think probably summer now, particularly with this pandemic on, a lot more people are traveling just more locally. So we need to book in advance, which is why I have actually booked quite a bit of, our, of the weekends away that we know we want to do particular places. And I think even before we leave, we might try and book in here for sort of March, April next year or something, probably March maybe. Maybe February, I don't know. End of April, May even, um, and come down then. <laughs> so we're getting a little bit peckish, as you do when you're camping. <laughs> so I've just done a cheese platter, cheese and a fruit platter for Kevin and myself. So he's got the Wensleydale with cranberry, cranberries, and I've got vegan bio cheese and, oh, what's the name of that one? I am blank at the moment, <laughs> but it's another vegan cheese. And crackers, and then we've got blackberries and strawberries. Not as impressive as the one I just watched from Renee and Kerry. I will link their channel below. You should go and check out their stunning vegan cheese board. <laughs> Hello. Do you think that looks good? <laughs> I think it looks alright too. <laughs> going in it's cold you said it was cold Very too cold. Coda doesn't think so. other people are braver than us <laughs> it's not just cold it's freezing <laughs> A tinted window but yeah it's raining you can hear big thunder and apparently the severe weather warning the forecast wasn't for rain today 
No, there was no rain forecast, but there's a um, big storm apparently coming on through. So, this is why I'm very glad we have a motorhome and not a tent. Is the bathroom vent too? Is it open? Hey, little bear. Oh, I'll go around for the before. I'll the air conditioning. Our storm never came to anything. <laughs> Put a bit of rain. Look, there's sky back up there again. You kind of a storm went around us. So we're having dinner now. So this was a sober satay, sober noodle, cold salad that I made ready for this hot day, but it's well, it's still reasonably warm. Anyway, it should be nice. This little boy is on the table now. I'm sure he can smell the barbecue next door. I'm sure he can smell it, but he's trying to, he thinks that the smell's in here. <laughs> he's trying to find out where that smell's going from. It's not coming from in here. Yeah, you'll do a sniff of can stinker, can't it? <laughs> it's not even our food, babe. It's not our food. We're going to go to bed in a minute. <laughs> I don't know why he thinks it's coming from here. <laughs> 